Hi everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically rename your team's meetings recordings to, from a long date format to a short date format using Power Automate. If you enjoy Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate, SharePoint Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because be, I'll be putting out a lot of videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. Just disclaimer, I'm a little sick right now, so my voice is kind of off. But besides that, let's get into the intro. All right, so I had a user reach out to me. He wanted these meeting recordings he has that are saved to his OneDrive. So these long date formats, he wants those to be shorter date formats because that long date format is just kind of annoying. It's pretty hard to read. So I'm just going to show you how to convert that automatically whenever a new file is created in this folder. I'm going to rename that to a short date format. And to do that, we're going to be using Power Automate. So before I, I record the meeting, let's go ahead and set up the flow. So the flow we're going to want to choose is going to be an automated cloud flow. And the flow name, we'll just do a long date to a short date, OneDrive. And for the flows trigger, let's just go ahead and search OneDrive. And it will be OneDrive for business when a file is created. Go ahead and press on create. For the first action, we're going to want to select the folder that the file is being created in. This is going to be, you click on the folder, it's going to be your recordings folder. So you just want to go ahead and click on recordings. So anytime a file is created in the recordings folder, we're going to want to rename that. And all of the meetings you have will be saved in the recordings as long as you host the meetings. So let's go ahead and press new step. And the next action we're going to want to do is compose. So compose down here. So this is actually going to be a custom expression we're doing here. It's going to be a little complicated. So you just want to make sure you follow along In the inputs. We have file names. So let's go ahead and select the file name from the previous step. We'll go ahead and copy that. And I'm just going to bring up notepad. So it's a lot, a little easier to read for y'all. So let's just go ahead and paste it what we had from the power automate and delete the curly brackets on the right and then delete the at symbol and the curly brackets on the left. All right, so let's go ahead and start writing our expression. So it's going to be first split parenthesis, paste in the trigger outputs. And so what we pulled from the power automate. So this file name, it's encoded. So we just want to remove the encoded parts. So the string doesn't look all funky looking. So go ahead and remove this dash encoded at the end of that string and then it will just give us the regular file name. Let's go ahead and add a comma at the end, a single quote dash single quote. And let's wrap this up in the parentheses. So notepad plus plus, it will highlight the matching parentheses. So it's pretty handy. And the reason we're separating this by the dash is when you have a recording saved in your OneDrive, it will have the meeting name at first and then it will separate it by a dash with the date and long format after and it'll do another dash meeting recording dot mp4 and so we're basically just separating the string we're splitting it by that first dash so we're going to get the first string with the first statement and then we're going to get the file name we'll add the short date after and then we'll add a dot mp4 for the correct file to be shown so let's go ahead and paste in our custom expression. Again, just make sure it looks like this when you're copying it. And I'll put it in the description of the video. So I'll just paste that expression, press OK, and that should be good to go. So next compose we're going to do is just adding the short date after it. So just click on compose and then we will do the outputs from the first one. And then for the custom expression, which will go right after, go ahead and add a dash right here. So for the custom expression, we want to get the date right now in our time zone. And to do that, you want to do UTC. Actually, it's convert from UTC. UTC now. Uh, close that up with parentheses, comma, destination time zone. So I'm Eastern Standard Time. I'll just type in Eastern Standard Time. 
And then for the format, I'm just going to do month, month, day, day, year, year, year. So the months have to be capitalized. So capital M's, everything else just be lowercase. Click on OK. See if I copied it. So here is the formula for y'all. I'll put it in the description as well. So convert from UTC, converting the UTC now to Eastern Standard Time in this date time format. All right, so we got that dash in the middle. So we separate the meeting name, dash, the date, and then we'll just do dot mp4. So it has a file name attached to it. So it knows what the correct file is. We got a new step. We'll just do a rename. Move or rename file, one drive for business. Uh, the file, this is going to be the file identifier from the when a file is created step. And the destination file path, this is going to be slash recordings. So we want to save it in the recordings folder. So it's going to be slash recordings slash, and then we're just going to do compose output. Compose two outputs, and that will give us our file name. And no. Got save. So I will go ahead and create a meeting with myself. I got teams open up right now. I'll just meet now. I will do SharePoint mic meeting. Start meeting. Going now. So we got our meeting name. And then I just need to record this really quick. So in the more tab, recording, transcribe, start recording. All right, recording is started. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this meeting and it should give me a recording. SharePoint mic meeting, recording a stop, saving recording. All right, so we have a 12 second video here. Let's go ahead and check our OneDrive to make sure it's saved. So meeting with Michael, we have it right here. And this flow in OneDrive for business, it could take, I think the last time I did it, it took up to like five minutes. So if it doesn't populate right away, uh, just wait like five to 10 minutes. And I'm sure it's gonna come up. So I'll catch you guys when it shows up. All right, so it took around probably like five to six minutes, but we have a successful flow ran right here. So let's just go ahead and inspect it really quick. So when a file is created, um, so that's the file name right here that's encoded. And that's why we had to uncode it so we get the right file name. So if you did it like if you didn't remove that uncode, it, it's going to show up like that, which we didn't want. Let's go ahead and look at the first compose. So we're able to get the meeting name perfectly right there. That's just the first split and the compose two. We're adding the dash short date time, which is 5 2 2023, which is up today, 5 2 2023. Dot MP4 and the remove or rename a file so we renamed it sharepoint mic meeting dash short date time dash dot mp4 all right so let's just take a look really quick at our onedrive so as you can see we have sharepoint mic meeting the short date time dot mp4 if i try to open it has that meeting good to go so that is how you would rename your team meetings so the meetings you you host so you create the meeting so let's save to your OneDrive. so if you want to rename those long daytime formats to short daytime formats this is the way how to do it hope you guys enjoyed the video don't really mind my voice it's not really how i talk but feeling a little under the weather right now if you like the video feel free to like comment subscribe if you have any comments feel free to leave them in the comments because i read all my comments and i will catch you in the next video